I work with Wesley Mission as a personal carer in the Inner West Division. Uh, what we do is we go into people's homes and help them shower if they need them, prepare their meals, do light house cleaning for them. We take them shopping, doctor's appointments, uh, just socialise. You get a lot of ladies that just need that company and um, it becomes more than just a carer. When you're going into someone's house every day or every second day for three, four, five years, I've been with Wesley Mission for nearly seven years now, you become a friend. I started coming to Maureen about two years ago. At first she was a bit weary because she was used to another girl. And then we do, I do the house cleaning on a Monday, come through and I vacuum, I dust, hang the washing out, change the beds, clean the bathrooms. And then we always make time for a cup of coffee and socialising. To Maureen that is more important than the cleaning. She needs a little bit of time to sit down and talk and relax. So more company for her, more company for me. Tony uh, has been coming here for about two years. At first, I think we're a little bit iffy about each other. We've both got our own personalities, very strong ones. Uh, but we became friends. We learned, you know, that, that um, to accept our differences, I suppose, to a degree. Uh, and now it's like having a friend come to visit. Uh, we. She comes on a Tuesday and does the heavy housework that I can't do and puts clothes on the line and things for me. And then Thursdays we go shopping and it's just like going with a friend shopping. I need a carer from Wesley Mission because I have an illness that has affected my heart. I have an endometrial stromal sarcoma, which is a cancer I've had since about 88. It's slow growing, but it does affect uh, my heart, so therefore I can't carry heavy things, I can't bend over very much. So that's why Tony is such an important part in my life, because she does all the things I can't do and shouldn't do. And I must say, being such a pig-headed, independent person all my life, it was very, very difficult to sit back and have someone else do the housework and someone else carry things for me, because I've been all my life a giver and have done those things for other people. So it was very, very difficult and probably a very good learning curve for me to appreciate what people do for you. It's very valuable to me to have a person that I can relate to and I don't feel, um, you know, that it's like a, a someone that's a worker. It's just, I know she is and, uh, and I appreciate it because um, we have in many areas, in many ways become quite close. And I think it's a valuable to me too because my neighbour of 24 years, six months ago, moved away and we were very close friends. And now, in a way, Tony's taken her place.